start the Saturday off with doing our little advent tree. I told Skylar, I'm like, when you are older, you can have it. I have some from my childhood. I have to look and see where those are. It's a little guy like on skis. I think I told you guys about, about those, but I'm excited to pass these down to my kids. Oh, it's a little Santa sack today. Let me see if I can get it to, to focus. How cute is that? Uh, while this was made, I think I've said this also like eight different times. While this was made completely wrong, the ornaments and the cuteness of it have been really good quality. So uh, while I like don't recommend it, I kind of do because it's actually kind of cute. And I think it was cheap. It was not expensive. I like search advent calendars and I'm like 40 bucks. like. If you times that by four kids, that doesn't make any sense. But I have all those chocolate ones and then that one. And I wanted one that the kids could take turns. We all could take turns um, opening. But I'm gonna set you guys down for a second while I drink my coffee. So Della had an amazing night of sleep last night, as did I. I feel a lot better. She, two nights ago, was real bad. I mean, my gas been for air, coughing, bad. That steroid has completely, which I probably should add this. Two weeks ago, Cody had what we believe was pneumonia. And, um, what are you doing? Yes. We, he had what we believe was pneumonia and he was put on the same steroid and he was like a new man the next day after taking it. And I see the same thing in her. Yes. You've got dad's dip. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you keep one? Luckily, can't, kids can't open these. I can barely open them. But she's carrying them around. Um, he must have been on the couch. So, anyway, the doctor said it will go from a deep barky cough to a wet cough, which is what she did last night and today. So, I think what my game plan is, and I'm like, I don't wanna infect people, but I think my plan is that we, well, one, we have a ton of things to do today. And it starts with Jet at 10 a.m. His, his uh, reconciliation, which is where you go to the priest and you tell him like, the sins that you're trying to clear, you know, like clearing your slate. So he has that, and then, and that's in preparation for his first communion, which will be in April. Um, then we have to come back here. Jet's got a basketball game at one, which Cody helps coach, so he'll take him. I think he helps coach, or he keeps the book. He does something on that team. He'll take him there. And then I will take the girls to theater and then we will all meet back at like 2.40 to go and watch their play at 3. And then we were going to go out to dinner at um, a place called Chandler's. So we'll see what happens, how she feels, what goes on there. We'll all just play it by ear because I feel like that's like my life. Yeah. But... Definitely gonna keep her away from kids. If I do take her to theater, I'm gonna stand in the back with her and try to keep her away from like everything because I do not want to infect anybody. That is not my intention. But we also have just too much stuff going on. You know, right? Like we don't have time to be sick, Della. We don't have time for it. I do have time for coffee though. Mmm, mmm. Mom needs to cut her hair. All right, I'll be back. Seatbelt. So what did you think? Oh, I'll have time to run the first half. Good. 
good? Was it not as bad as you thought it was? I know you were kind of nervous. I was nervous at, at first. Yeah, and now you're but fine. But then when I got in line, um, my teacher said to, to don't be nervous. Yeah, that was awesome. We have now stopped at good old Chipotle. We tried McDonald's, they weren't serving lunch. Yeah. And then we tried Chick-fil-A and the line was not moving. So no, not now we're at Chipotle, then we're gonna go home, then we're gonna get Skylar and makeup and hair, Sienna in a low ponytail, make sure they have all their stuff, pack them a water and a snack. And then I have to go to basketball. You have to go to basketball and then we will all meet back together at 2.40. We will watch the play and then we'll go out to dinner and eat and watch um, my alma mater college UC play. So University of Cincinnati is playing football. And they are doing honestly very, very, very well for themselves. 12 and out. Yeah, they have not lost the game. All right, I'll be back. Jet, good luck at your basketball game. Here's your sweatshirt, you look good. Let me take your picture. Good luck. Being Charles Dickens, I'll see you at three. Or good luck being Oliver. We'll see you at three o'clock. Mm -hmm. Let me know if you need anything. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love you too. Good luck. So this is the third coffee today that I'm gonna try to drink. I did drink my entire first coffee. I had that at like 7:30 this morning. Uh, then the second one kind of just sat there. The third one is still sitting up there, doing its thing. I need to get a battery out of here. We dropped the girls off. So Jed is at basketball with Cody. The girls are at theater. I just dropped them off like you guys saw. And then I came back here. We gave Della some lunch and I quickly cleaned. And now it is somehow 12.56. So that time frame went actually really fast. We need to leave around 2.15 to go to the girls play and then probably out to dinner. Della is totally fine. She is acting like a normal baby. Um, I have no concern. There's nothing in my mom gut that says she would pass anything on to anyone else currently, but I'm still gonna keep my guard up. I do need to text my parents. My dad said he would watch her while we were at the play. If, if we wanted him to. So I'm so undecided on that. I still need to give her the rest of her medicine. I gave her some of it and then she was like starting to spit it out. And I'm like, this is like liquid gold. So we'll give her another minute and then we'll sneak attack it into her mouth. But I thought I would give you an update. The next that I see you guys will probably be me recording parts of the show. And I'll give you like a little heads up because I feel like I never really explain it. Usually for shows, I record the whole thing and then my intention is to pass it out to everybody and then I just hoard it to myself and it sits on an SD card collecting dust. I probably should go through everything, um, especially before a lot of these kids get really old and then they graduate from UC from uh, my kid's school and then they are never to be found again um, and pass it out to everybody. I, I do plan on doing that one day getting all of my theater performances together. This show, I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna record bits and pieces and I'll probably will do nothing with it either, but that's okay. We'll put some of it on here. Um, I gotta get it together, you guys, especially with all these. Anyway, Sienna Charles Dickens, she has a beautiful voice when she really tries to project it out into the world. Um, she will be the one dressed like a man. There we go, my battery died. And then Skylar is little Oliver. And I believe she has a couple parts, but I forgot to ask Skylar when I should get my camera ready. So we'll just have to look and see, you know, when she's up there. All right, I will be back. Ah, oh, 
yes, Miss Chuzzlewit. What do you have to say for yourself today? Oh dear, dear, dear. Little do we know what lies before us. So, my, hold on. Spittle coming on this near. Let me just do this. There. Now, what was it you were saying? Oh dear, dear, dear. <laughs> Sometimes a face emerges, but at other times, not. So I look into my mirror, just to see if I can see a character unfolding from the pen that I am holding through the mirror back to me.
so I am back at home. Here's what happened. Cody held Della in the back of the theater the entire time while I sat and recorded bits and pieces and obviously watched the whole show. I hope you enjoyed it. We then left and went to a little restaurant called Chandler's, which is like right down the street from where theater is. And I said, we'll just play by ear. We'll see how well Della does. Whatever, whatever. She did great until like halfway through. It was almost like directly after me. I knew that she needed to eat dinner because I knew that she was really hungry. And she ate, me and her shared a Reuben. She ate some french fries. She ate some of the Reuben meat. And then she just got to the point where she's like, I want to go home. I want to go to bed. And that was the end of that. So I left dinner early. Came back here, put her down, and she's sleeping now. So hopefully she gets all the rest that she needs. I feel so bad that I took her out and about. But uh, yeah, you can definitely tell in her face that she still doesn't feel 100% at all. Um, tomorrow we have a light day. So my... Cousin's daughter has a birthday. I said that we would drop a gift off. And then Jets got basketball at Elder High School at 1. And then Sienna has volleyball. I think at 2.45. So, I don't know what we'll do in that scenario. I guess, again, we'll see how well she does. Usually during the day, like, she's completely fine. Like, able to join our rat race of a day. But it, once it gets to be evening time, she's like, okay, I just don't feel good. Put me to bed. So, yeah. So, now we're here. Cody took Sienna to her 7th grade basketball game. A boys basketball. I think it was at 6.30. And then I have no idea what they'll do after that. Usually, Cody finds something to do because he's just that social of a person. And I will probably go to bed early. And then I'm hoping maybe to go to 8.30 mass tomorrow. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. If I'm up and I'm able and I can get ready, I will go. But if not, then we'll go to 11. But I think that's all. That's all I have to tell you guys. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to see what's on TV. But I'm going to go upstairs um, next to Della and... I'm probably honestly go to bed soon. Even though it's only like almost seven. I'm probably gonna go to bed. Alright. Good night everyone. Bye.